Hey, winter is over, spring is here, and that means it's time to start to replenish our wood supply. So stick around and watch us get after it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Up North with the Nybergs. Ed here. I am in my wood storage shed here. Uh, it's not really a shed, I guess it's a converted carport, but it does the trick. Uh, typically, we have about 11 rows of wood in here, and, and every year we usually go through it all, but we shut down the boiler about two or three weeks ago, and we've got about three rows left. So today is, looks like a perfect day. It's, uh, it's going to be up in, up in the low 70s today, which is unheard of in the middle of April. So uh, today during my lunch hour, Rachel and David are going to help and we're gonna uh, actually start our 2023 wood cutting season today. It's a little windy, so hopefully that doesn't uh, interfere too much with uh, recording, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and start it today. We wanna get about 11 rows as soon as we can, fill this back up, and then uh, we'll start to fill our loafing shed, which is our backup storage, and then maybe up to six or eight IBC totes. So uh, come along and uh, Grab a chainsaw if you have one handy and uh, we'll put it to good use. I thought this would be a good time to pop in and just kind of go over our process a little bit. You can see David is uh, using uh, the brand new MS 362 the steel MS 362 and that thing's a beast it's a got a 20 inch bar on it and the only downside is it's, it's pretty heavy uh, typically what we do uh, this is by no means if you follow the channel this isn't how we typically cut wood this is just uh, an opportunity to get out and enjoy the the nice weather here in April but what we normally do is we'll have a couple chainsaws running. Uh, I've got an MS-271 and an MS-251 and those are good saws but I wanted something a little bit a uh, little bit more commercial grade or at least a step up and this uh, 362 has certainly fit the bill. Uh, at some point I may get a cutting stand or something so that our backs aren't being uh, taxed as much as they look like they are here and David's young so his back's still pretty strong I don't like from a safety standpoint I don't like cutting into a stack I've seen pros do it that actually have firewood business businesses and they go right into the stack and they're cutting it and it's pretty impressive to watch I just don't think it's that safe uh, to be doing that it you know they've been doing it for years and they're pros at it but we're not we do this to, uh, you know you know a, quite a few times a year but I wouldn't consider ourselves pros by any stretch of the imagination we're very safe as you can see we really try to be really really safe um, and you can see that uh, you know we're cognizant of you know the saw and, and those kind of things but uh, like I said I just it's just my opinion. I just don't believe it's super safe to be digging a chainsaw into multiple layers of, of wood if you're not a pro. Uh, also in this picture, you can see it's pretty windy. And you can see in the background, uh, right behind where I'm standing, you can see our wood doctor, our old wood doctor that, that was replaced with the central boiler, HDX 760. And I did a video on that as well. I'll probably link to that so you can check that out, the difference between a gas gasification unit and a updraft traditional uh, wood boiler. And I'm gonna sell that at some point. And then we have some other, we got a trailer back there and you can see some uh, posts for the cidery, heartwood cidery that is uh, gonna be, hopefully break ground this fall if not, maybe in the spring, but uh, that's right now our wood yard is, is pretty full with a lot of stuff.
All right. Well, that uh, we worked out there for, I'd say, about an hour and a half or so. Uh, if you're new to the channel, that's not typically how we uh, cut and split wood, uh, but we just wanted to get outside and enjoy the really, really nice weather, get a little bit of exercise, and actually kick off our firewood spring training, so to speak. So uh, Rachel and David were uh, kind enough to, to get out there and help as well. So typically we have a, a couple of chainsaws going. Uh, we have the splitter set up, the Wolfridge splitter, and we can really go through a lot. Uh, but we just didn't want to set it. I didn't have time really. I'm just on my lunch hour, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to get everything set up. Uh, but we did get a little bit done. We probably got uh, the equivalent of one row in, in this facility, uh, the storage um, woodshed, I guess you'd call it. Uh, so we did get uh, uh, probably the equivalent of at least one cut. Still had to split it, still have to get it out drying a little bit, but that wood was from last year. So it's relatively dry as we speak. Uh, it just needs probably a couple of months and it'll be below, easily below uh, 6%. Uh, like it had been this year, so uh, I'm not too too worried about it. I've got enough out there probably to last me this year, but I have another load coming. I want to get one year ahead, and so uh, that's the goal is to get one year ahead. I'm probably a half a year ahead right now, and I want to make it a full year so that we can get uh, get all of our wood down below six percent for these for our uh, uh, Central Boiler Classic Edge 760. Uh, it just loves dry wood. But uh, in any event, I appreciate you coming along on this uh, spring training firewood season kickoff. Uh, really appreciate it. I also appreciate all the subscribers and the comments and things like that. So uh, uh, please continue to do that. As you know, as you follow my channel, you know, I really like to interact with, uh, with everyone. So don't be shy about leaving comments as well. And until the next video. This is Ed with Up North with the Nybergs.